dollar makes me holler, honey boo boo. For child actors, fame and money can vanish in a nanosecond. Honey Boo Boo earns $4,000 an episode. That's roughly 40,000 bucks a season. A lot of dough for a kid. So what should Honey Boo Boo do to make sure she doesn't blow her fortune in case her fame dries up? You're sort of planning for after the show while you're in it. And a lot of people don't, don't really think like that. They think about the here and now. Flynn and other financial experts suggest, one, set up a trust fund. Mama June Shannon proved financially savvier than she sounds. She said the lion's share of the family's paycheck is directly deposited into trust funds for Boo Boo and her four sisters. The kids can't touch the money until they turn 21, except for school or medical emergencies. Beyond the trust fund, they could invest part of Boo Boo's income in a 529, the tax-free college savings plan. Select Georgia 529's age-based managed allocation plan that invests aggressively in stocks and bonds when she's young but shifts to a more conservative mix favoring bonds as she nears college age. Flynn says she should set aside enough to cover the cost of attending a public college. Mama Shannon can write off up to $2,000 in taxes for any additional contributions she makes to the fund. Assuming an aggressive 8% annual rate of return to raise the nearly $90,000 she'll need for college, Boo Boo would have to put $450 a month, or $5,400 a year, into the 529. Beyond that, perhaps you should do something outside and not gear everything towards college because there are taxes and penalties if that money in a 529 plan is not used for college expenses. So three, the parents can set up an investment account and earmark a separate account in Boo Boo's name to track her assets. Lippert's research head Jeff Tornohoy recommends socking all of it into equity ETFs, a 50-50 split between the very diversified, low-cost Vanguard total stock market and Vanguard Total International Stock ETFs. My family just loves to eat. Four, protect your ability to mint money. Hightower partner Jordan Waxman, who manages wealth for rich entertainers, says she could alternatively use the non-college money to buy disability insurance. Finally, when Boo Boo turns 18, she can restructure her trust. Defer receiving the bulk of the non-college money until she turns 30, so that money has more time to grow. And there's a window in there where you can talk to them about this trust and saying, let's restructure it so maybe you get the income for some period of time, but the actual principal, assuming this is a large amount of money, may not come to you until you're 30 or 35. Retails for 149, we got a 30 coupon, it's gonna double to 60. So it's gonna make it, let's see, quit math. It'll make, it'll, make, it'll make it like 80 cents a drawer, so we're going to get two of them. 